Greetings, Game Changers. This is Classic Games Redefined, and my name's Rich, and we're going to do something that's equivalent to the an unboxing video with a book, which I'll show you in a minute, which you saw the thumbnail there. We're going to get into it in a second. The story behind this is that I'm at Barnes & Noble. I'm out here, and I saw this at Barnes a local Barnes & Noble where I am, so I decided to pick it up. What I've been doing is looking for books, magazines, periodicals, Anything I could put like at a table at a convention if I'm doing a retro video game stuff on the tournament to help promote things. So kind of a coffee table book which has graphics. I don't know if I did a video. I might have to show a few of these books here. But I want to show this one. And this one is to anybody who's a fan of Atari and do it. This is going to be equivalent to an unboxing video um, that I'm going to go through. I haven't had a chance to look through it much. But when I saw it, I did it impressed. This is The Art of Atari uh, by Tim Lapatino. I believe it was published this year. I'm just going to go through and just show you some things here. It shows you Atari 2600. What you have here with this book here is that it has a bunch of images. It's a get perfect tabletop book. So you have your table of contents. What you have here, and you go across, and it's Pac-Man. You get the history of it, the art direction, the art and design, different designers talking about the home console, the Atari console, different platforms, the unearthing of E.T., how they license Pac-Man, different people profiles, and just different stuff through here. It also looks at the different platforms they had in Atari. It has a forward, which you can look at that way. Bear with me one second. I'm just going to skip through. You have an introduction here, which you can see. And note, this book is thick. It's like perfect on the table. It also comes with this little built-in bookmark, kind of like you have a Bible hymn or something. Uh, kind of history, birth of Atari, shows computer space. Pong, it's showing Pong. Well, we have Pong. Discussion with Nolan Bushnell. Uh, there's the jobs in Wozniak working for Atari, uh, and that is their breakout machine. Um, art and design, which shows you here uh, that there was art direction that went into it, which you definitely go into the art, which leads to the question about art and that. Uh, matter of fact, showing some of the old box art that they had. And yes, a lot of this is hand drawn stuff here and um, other things they have here. Um, Space Riders, that's another thing that they have there. I believe that's a pinball machine. Um, designer thing. You have that there. This book, I'm going to say, and I paid $40, you probably could pick it up cheaper online, uh, is just... If you're just into like looking at retro art or the history of Atari, because it goes into that too, about what went into it. As a matter of fact, this is really cool a story. No, true. I'm saying this is a quote to unboxing video. I haven't read these articles in here, but it goes into the history of the Atari logo, what it came from. Uh, look at the coin op division they have here. Um, cabinet art they had like here. Um, here's some of the old poster style stuff they had for promoting it. There are different sports that they had. Here's something else. Solar War. It's a marquee. I have never seen that before. Solar War. So um, hopefully we're getting something else. We're running high here. The old Atari 2600 box. Let me see if I can skip through and show a few other things here. Oh, yeah, I want to get to this one. Their consoles. Yeah, start with the uh, going from the Atari 2600 over here. The Atari 7800. But it goes even beyond that. And also has the Atari. <laughs> the Atari... XE, oh, on the side here. The XE game system, the good old Atari 8-bit computer, the Atari Lynx, and the Atari Jaguar, and then they're gone. And also the 5200 thrown in there, also on some of the other... Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can skip through to some other stuff here. Oh, good old poster. Look at this thing. Um, Yeah, I said if you're an Atari fan, this is just absolutely awesome to have on a coffee table. I'm going to look forward to bringing this convention. Yeah, they're good old Pong units they have in here. Definitely pick this up. This this is awesome. And it goes into the box box art they had there. Uh, more of them. And it looks like, actually, you can go through here in alphabetical on every single game in Atari release. Not the third-party stuff by Activision, but the different art box work. It talks about who worked on it, um, the art, who did the art, the different games. So it kind of gives you a catalog of what Atari put out for their stuff here. Um, I like this poster. This is really good. Look at that. Kind of showing the world of Atari there. 
So that's Cliff, uh, S-P-O-H-N's work. And they actually have an uh, article on him in here. Again, you're an Atari guy. Do this here. I am more of it. Uh, I like this one right here. I like this here. Uh, Conan. Concept art of thinking of a Conan character with the game Breakout. Which is one of the things they thought of having there. Uh, Codebreakers Casino. Let's skip ahead a bit more here. Every single Atari game. Including like Superman, for example. The artwork that went into it. Here is something else that we're working on. Superman 3. I can get that there. I don't think it ever came out. Um, let's play a little guess the game. Guess what game we're referring to here. You look at the artwork. Uh, we'll probably come to the answer shortly. It is Adventure. And this goes on and on. As I said, next one here. The backgammon. Look at that hair. That is pure 70s, I tell you. Man, this is awesome. This is awesome. We got bowling in here, basic programming, human cannonball, canyon bomber. And uh, just giving you a taste, I'm skipping through here. Uh, video chess was an interesting story that originally, I believe, somebody sued Atari because they showed chess on the box. And so the developers, with a very limited space, came up with chess. Um, the different artists that worked on that circus Atari. I'm going to skip ahead a bit here. But every, I swear every single game here, even like Space Invaders, the licensed stuff here, there's here the artwork of Space Invaders. You're looking at. And uh, Video Checkers, Steeplechase, Demons the Diamonds is in here. Um, more Missile Command. Uh, so they had several pages of Missile Command. I just jumped ahead to it. About the different artwork that they were looking at here. The different artists, profiles on the artists who did the box art. Uh, Steve Hendricks, uh, going through here. Let's keep across here. Um, oh, even the arcade stuff. Berserk. I said I wasn't going to go by here, but man, I tell you, that was actually, let's do it again, slow down a bit. Berserk. So you got Berserk here. Uh, you're a Atari fan? You like the retro stuff here. This is really good for a coffee table. Centipedes in here. We got Combat 2, uh, Defender. Good old ET. Let's go through here. Uh, and the unearthing of the mystery. The landfill of Atari. Haunted house is in here. Black Pond. Oh, I want to see about a haunted house. I thought this was interesting. <sighs> Yes, they had... Hello. I'm getting pausing here. Look here. It's a promotional poster for Haunted House. Haunted House. And you know what? I gotta be careful my movement. I got a really not a good camera here, so it's it's pausing on me. Pac-Man is in here. Um, I want to skip ahead past this. You, If you get a cross, go to the library, check it out, do anything you can to get your hands on it. Um... And then we get to the arcade stuff, which I want to go to now. Which I'm seeing here. Photos in here. Um, I think they're doing everything else. This is Space Duel, which is like, well, I really like this game here. Space Duel. It's like, you had Asteroids, Asteroid Deluxe, and then Space Duel, which actually had two guys coming together here. And, uh, yeah, they mix things together. Uh, let's see what else we can, let's skip ahead more. Um, skip ahead to all this stuff here. Wow. Here's another thing I thought was interesting. Yes, there was a Dukes of Hazard game on the 2600. I thought that was interesting. And um, other stuff. Let's see if we can find here. Skip ahead. It's just so much stuff in here. The artist and all that. Uh, wow. Yeah, even other stuff. Well, now you got 5200 box art. Um, that's Gravatar, and that's artwork for Choplifter, the classic game, and Gravatar, the Atari game. There was a 2600 version they had. Gremlins is here, and, uh, Pengo, Stargate. Um, yeah. Mark Erickson. Tetris! Yeah, Atari had a Tetris game. So. And other stuff here. 
Uh, I, I said I wasn't going to do it, but yeah, Akari Warriors. They came out with what platform was that for? For the 7800 version of it. Um, actually, also the Atari 2600, apparently. And what else do we have here? Industry design, talking about the arcade cabinet article. Industri industrial design. What else do we have here? Look at the Atari 2600. Concepts went to design a wood, nice wood grain finish. Shout out to Mark, a classic game room. So he said, everything looks better with a wood grain finish. That's one thing they moved away. I, I guess to make it fit in the living room. Put the controllers and then they have the 5200, an article on the 5200. Uh, and the joystick. Yeah, I'm going to actually get in the consoles here a second. I'll call on the 7800 and the good old Atari computers. Yeah, it's Atari, me being an Atari fanboy. Atari 400. Yeah, the story with me here, that was pretty cool. That Atari 400, I actually tried to code on. I remember getting analog guys in. And you're trying to type in. It's like doing years of code and doing checksum and hoping it would compile on the, on the desk here. The Atari 800. And neat thing about these computers... Four, look at the four ports on the bottom here. You could have that. And then when they went to the XE, something else here. Um, some other stuff here. Video music had that. And then some things here. Some more international article process. Making things the analog way. And let's see what else we got here. Different artists they have here and prototypes here. Some articles on prototypes in this thing. Uh, let's see. We'll move it that way. There we go. Some things here about some other stuff they were working on. Uh, subs on handheld. You can go find that. Here's something else the Atari 2700. Wireless controllers and paddle built in. Um, remote control system they had to here. Uh, 3200. Wow. Again, I consider this an unboxing because I'm seeing stuff here I didn't know about here. Voice controller for Star Raiders and baseball. We could talk to it. Mine link. There was an ESP thing here. Oh, and um, before game uh, before Game Boy. What you had here is Atari had the Cosmos system, which he had, which had borderline uh, LEDs here. Graduate keyboard. Key Games Programmable System. Key Games. Yeah, interesting thing about Key Games there is this was... I can't even show it. Can I elevate it? Key Games was a ploy. K-E-E-E. -E -E. Key Games was a ploy by uh, Jack Tramiel to create a rival to his own company that he has stake in uh, by a partner. So it looked like there were two companies so that they would actually buy video games and put them out here. Wow. Oh, that's something else here. Yes, Atari Jaguar VR. Sony is behind the game again. There we go. Yay, that's it. So, anyhow. Oh, look at this thing. Atari 4 hint at. Look at that thing. And, um, pure Atari stuff here. Uh, good old advertising. Some more stuff showing their games off. $50,000 World Championships, Chicago, 1981. Awesome. Why Atari's number one. And more advertising. Look at this stuff here. This is, this is, this is great here. Wow, I'm going on a while here. A uh, bunch more stuff in the back here. Uh, wow. Lots and lots of stuff here. Um, Atari Force. Yes, Atari back in the day when they were big, they had actually a comic book. Yeah, that was one thing they had there. We have an end note and an after notes here and something else here. And let me show you the back of it. About the author, they have the thing. This is the back of the book. And that's it. And that is size. Look at that. And this is, wow, approaching 15 minutes here. I could go on and on about this. This is just an absolutely awesome book. Get a hold of it. Go to the library. Check it out. Own it. Great for the coffee table. If you have any remote interest in Atari, I'd say go ahead and get it. And it's great to look through. I should show you some other books I have regarding it. Uh, but that one looks like it came out this year. Uh, that's what I was seeing. So it was released earlier. And it was like the only copy I found. I'm looking through the video game stuff. 
And I stumbled across this book. It was not even in the aisle. It was next to it. So anyhow, that's it. I've gone over 15 minutes. This is one of my longer videos. This is really great. Go look through it. I hope the publisher didn't mind me doing it. I am plugging this highly. There's articles are reading there. So I'm just showing you some of the stuff there. So okay, that's it. I'm out of here. So I do want to thank you for watching. May your die always roll five. And remember, don't hate the player. Check the game. Uh, don't hate the player. Change the game. Okay, I'm out of here. Take care.